not the same story this morning, though. Plenty of drivers who had to hit the roads found them way too slippery to drive. Look at that car there. This was the scene at 2222 near Dry Creek Drive with several drivers stuck on the ice there. And that was just one of many slick spots today. With so many drivers getting stuck or in accidents, it raised some questions about if the TxDOT response was enough today. KXA's Chris Sadegi spoke with TxDOT officials about how much precaution they took, and he joins us live from Northwest Austin. Chris? Robert, many of the problems came on high, long overpasses like 183. Now, TxDOT says that they treated and retreated the bridge several times, but unless drivers do their part, all the sand in the world won't make a bit of difference. Uh, airbag deployed. This is an 08 Mazda 3. Business is about to pick up. Is a minimum $5,000 repair. Wrecked out vehicles are rolling into Longhorn Collision Center. Larry Powers has seen enough to know the story. This, this obviously was a case where this person was going too fast or falling too closely or both. And it always seems like there's that one thing everyone thinks would have made a difference. Everybody says, well, yeah, of course, if there was sand on the road, I wouldn't have crashed, which isn't necessarily the case. Anytime you're dealing with Mother Nature, there is an element of unpredictability with that. At TxDOT, they say 131 crews helped lay down 250 tons of granular material, most of it on bridges and overpasses. But once you get ice, things are going to get slippy, even with the sand. In some of the areas where there were um, crashes, we had treated them three, four, five times. And it still wasn't enough to keep everyone in their lane. TxDOT thinks some of it isn't just what's on the road, but behind the wheel. We can do our part to try to go out there and put you know, material down to keep you safe, but it will not work if you continue to drive 60 miles an hour. As Larry can tell you, it does happen. Most people don't know how to, to drive in bad weather. Now, a lot of times when we get a freeze like this, TxDOT will get help from surrounding counties, but those counties were also dealing with the freeze themselves, and the state usually doesn't devote a whole lot of resources unless we're looking at an event that could last several days. We're live in North Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. In Central Texas and across the state, folks had to deal with very tough traffic conditions. Our crews were busy all night long, including right here near the 290 flyover to Mopac. You see those cars, as many as 15 were stuck when icy roads led to a crash there. The weather also caused big problems in other parts of Texas. Down in San Antonio, icy conditions caused plenty more than... 100 traffic accidents overnight, especially on those overpasses and flyovers. Thousands of people also lost electric power in the Alamo City. Even down in Corpus Christi, ice formed in the roadways and bridges. It forced police to shut down the Harbor Bridge. Some drivers were simply stuck in Portland, north of Corpus Christi. And in Houston, despite fewer drivers out today, plenty of cars ended up crashing. Houston ISD, the state's largest school district, canceled classes, and that meant 210,000 students had a day off from school.